All right, I have a very delicate setup going on here with my phone because I need both my hands free because it's my very first book haul video. And as you can see, I do have a nice big stack of books right here ready to show you. And let's get started. Okay, first off, I have these two. These, um, I'm not sure if you can read them. There's Une si long lettre by Mariama Ba, and there is Art by Yasmin Alcheza. These are two textbooks that I had to buy for my French Lit unit, so I'm not looking forward to reading them, but I have to do it anyway. So, plus, I bought them, so they're in my book haul. Yay! Next up, we have a book that I've already talked about in my last video, so I'm just going to link you to that down below so you don't hear me going on about it. It is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, and, um, yeah, there's, you know, I've already spoken about it, so I don't need to talk about it again, so, yeah. We have Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Roll. This book, um, I know pretty much nothing about it except that it's about two people called Eleanor and Park, and it's written by Rainbow Roll, so, um, I've read Fangirl, so if it's anything like that, this should be really good. So, Next up, You Had Me at Hello by Mary McFarlane. This book um, is about Ben and Rachel, who were like best friends in college, I think it was. Um, but they drifted apart and now they've met up again ten years later. Um, the tagline is what happens when the one that got away comes back. I found this one at my friend's house and um, she had to go and do something and I started reading it but she said that she hadn't finished reading it yet so I bought my own copy because it looked pretty good um, and I haven't opened it up again so I'm looking forward to reading it at some point. Um, it will definitely get done but it's quite a thick book and I don't have time for that sort of commitment but the cover's really pretty so yeah. Cover. Next, Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by uh, Leslie Walton. This book is about a girl named Ava who was born with wings, um, and it has a very, very pretty cover, which is mainly the reason I bought it, but I did see um, one of my friends had read it, so I thought I may as well pick it up, and yeah, so look how pretty it is, and it's gold and shimmery, and oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. The next two books I'm not going to spend much time on because I have spoken about this series in um, my Moon Over Soho video. Um, these are uh, Broken Homes and Fox Club Summer by Ben Aronovich. Um, these are the fourth and fifth books in the Rivers of London series and um, just continues on the story. I can't say much without giving away spoilers but in this one they're investigating um, a spate of deaths that seem to be linked to a uh, apartment complex in Elephanton Castle and this is about two girls who go missing in uh, Rushpool. Yeah, so um, those two, I have already read them because I wanted to know what happened. So, yeah, there's those two. Next up, we have Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albatali. Um, this book is, I presume, about Simon and I presume he's gay but um, I guess I won't know until I read more than that, um, but yes, this was also read by the same friend that read The Beautiful, um, Strange and Beautiful Stories of Ava Lavender, so, um, I am hoping that it'll be good because she does have a very good taste in books, in my opinion, um, so I'm looking forward to reading that. The next book is one of my currently readings. I am reading this in between, um, the chapters of, uh, the Mariam Abar book. Um, it is The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. This book is about Hadley, who has missed her flight to her dad's wedding in London, um, and she's stuck at JFK with this British boy called Oliver. Um, I haven't really started it yet, um, but I am starting it tonight. Um, this is a really weird cover. It's the only thing I don't like about it so far. Like, it's beautiful. Like, it looks beautiful. It's aesthetically pleasing. And the back is nice. But it just, it's made out of something weird. And I don't know, but I don't know what it is. But it feels strange. It feels strange. And I don't like it. I don't like it. But, you know what? I'm 
gonna read it anyway. So the next book, uh, we're st uh, edging out of fiction and into non-fiction with Working Stiff. Um, two years, 262 bodies in the making of a medical examiner. This is written by Judy Melanick and her partner TJ Mitchell. Um, it's about Judy's experiences um, training as a medical examiner in New York City. Yes, New York City. I bought this one more because I have a personal interest. I want to be a forensic pathologist someday. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd check it out. I do, I have seen um, a few mixed reviews on it. So, I don't know what it's going to be like going into it. But I am looking forward to reading it. And if I don't like it, I'm sure you'll hear about it. So, there's that one. The last book about time. Super Mutant Magic Academy by Gillian Tamaki. I first saw this book um, when I was watching Ariel Bassett's book Jubathon updates. She seemed very excited about it, so I thought I would check it out. The um, art's looking really good. Um, it's on my bookmark in there. I have already started reading it. Um, this is about, I'm guessing, Super Mutants at a Magic Academy, and it's just like little comic strips about what happens. Um, I haven't seen a real plot appear yet, so I don't know if there if one is going to show up or if it's just like a little like sketch thing. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it and it should be good. That's all of them. That's all of them. There's going to be more next month. I can already tell you that. I already know for sure that there's going to be more next month because this was only like 12 and I've already ordered seven since this morning. Next week I will be doing a, um, sort of a August wrap up and September to be read so I'll be talking about all the books that I read in August and I will be um, just giving you lowdowns on that um, and then I will be sorting out what I'm going to be reading in September um, so yeah so um, that's gonna be exciting and that's it um, yeah so bye next up Next up, we have Simon versus the Homo Sapiens agendi uh, Agenda. Agenda. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, next, uh, Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda by... Ac by... <laughs>